Hello, Facebook Live. It's good to be here today for uh, today's video. I said I don't want to wear some sunglasses because why not? Um, and I felt very much inspired to talk about something I have been experiencing very acutely. Of course, because I typically will talk about things that I am experiencing personally most often. So uh, lately, I've really been experiencing how, due to the fact that I personally am highly empathic, meaning I can very much sense or intuit what is happening in someone else's experience, in someone else's quote-unquote field, so to speak, I can very much feel what's happening, and I will in a sense, absorb it or pull it into myself because I feel, as an empath, um, one of your gifts, which also is one of your challenges, that's kind of how things work in life. It's like, it's a double-edged sword, it's two sides of the coin. Your greatest gifts in life will simultaneously be your greatest challenges. So, as an empath, one of your greatest gifts is the fact that you can pull in and transmute energies in an environment. In, in doing so, you can raise the vibration frequency of that space. So, when you're around people, you pull things in from their field. <clears throat> but the thing is, as an empath, if you're not fully transmuting, meaning there's walls you've built up, most especially over the heart, we build up walls over the heart. If you're not fully, if your energy isn't fully circulating, it, it gets stuck. So what happens is, you have a little stuckness, you have a contraction in your field, in the flow of, of life force energy in your field. You pull in things, you pull in densities from other people's field, and what happens is they accumulate around that density that's already present within you. So it's like, think of a um, material object, right? It has a gravitational pull. It's a, it's a density, like a planet or a sun. It's like, it's, it's a... A density is an accumulation of matter, of dense energy. It has a gravitational pull. So when you have these densities present within yourself, um, they accumulate other densities. It's attracted to it magnetically. It has a gravitational pull. And so it accumulates inside of you and it builds up this pressure, this intense pressure. That's what we call suffering. So when this pressure builds up inside you, it can feel really unbearable and then you don't want to connect with people because you're pulling in all their stuff. So what you have to do, in my experience, I've realized what you got to do is um Laurel of course you were yeah it's all it's in the it's in the collective field um yeah so what you have to do as an empath is keep your energy circulating smoothly and how do you do this you keep your heart open and you keep circulating love as opposed to creating a wall to connection, blocking yourself off from connection, which creates suffering and pain because energy isn't circulating, it's not flowing. You become the one who is always giving love. Regardless of how you feel, you are there as a space of love. You are giving love. You are open. You keep yourself open no matter what. And the ego fears that if you do this, you're going to get hurt, but it's the opposite. The egoic attachments to densities, to limitations, limiting belief patterns... That is what creates the suffering. It's not keeping yourself fully open. That's the freedom from suffering. When you keep the energy circulating completely, how do you do this? Through being in a space of love, unconditional love. There's nothing for, for other people's densities to, to stick to, you know, because your energy is circulating, it's flowing. Um... So yeah, that's really the key is like uh, what, what the ego thinks will protect you is actually what's killing you. That's a, that's a poignant one. Think about that one. What the ego thinks is protecting you is actually killing you. So becoming aware of the protective mechanisms of the ego and not getting upset by this, but those mechanisms were created to protect you as a child when you were helpless and powerless to the adults above you, but now you are in a different paradigm and you can drop those old paradigms that served you in the past, so you thank it you say thank you protective mechanisms of the ego but I don't need you anymore like thank you so much, I love you and then you bring love to these these uh, spaces 
And in doing so, you transmute that, that old self-limiting pattern. You transmute that density from your fields. Love transmutes all into itself because it is the light of consciousness. And so shadow is created when there, you can look at this in the physical universe, when there's a light shines in an object, a dense material object, it casts a shadow. But when the density dissolves, the materiality dissolves, there is no more shadow. So when you've dissolved all densities in your field, and then you can pull in other densities around you and dissolve them automatically because you're open and flowing and circulating energy, when you do this, you no longer experience shadow because you're in fully in the light of consciousness. And that is Christ consciousness. That is awakening. That is enlightenment. That's what we're all looking for, right? Um, so what holds us back from this, of course, is fear. Enlightenment is a state of unconditional love. The only thing that holds you back is fear, fear-based contraction patterns. So the key is becoming aware of the fear-based contraction patterns, surrendering into them with love, with yourself, with the light of consciousness or, or awareness, dropping into it, relaxing into it, breathing into it, ah, loving into it, bringing love into it. And it dissolves by its own accord. You don't have to do anything. That's, a, that's the trick. You don't have to try. This is the end of all trying. You, you just stop trying. You're not trying to maintain a facade. You're not trying to cover anything up. You're not trying to be anything other than what you already are. So you stop trying. You drop it all. You drop into the body. You drop into whatever you're feeling. This is getting anchored into the body. It's not getting out of the body, dissociating, going to other dimensions or the astral realm. No. That's not what we're here to do. Fuck that. It's getting deeper into the body. What does it mean to be alive? What does it mean to be human, fully present, alive, liberated from suffering, and just like experiencing this human experience with the eyes of divine love? That's what it's all about. So, ah, this has been a very good message for today. Anyone who is joining now, thank you, Sebastian. Yeah, I also have this trilogy. Yeah, this was a nice, a nice flow. Yeah, exactly, Laurel. The, the densities are limiting thought patterns, limiting belief patterns that are anchored in the subconscious because you practice them for so long that they have essentially um, like embedded themselves in your field. So the way to transcend it is to just notice because you're... Your physical body and your emotions are the doorway to the subconscious. So you know that something in the subconscious is being triggered when there's like, ah, discomfort in the body and emotion, uh, uncomfortable emotions come up, right? And the thing is, there's no such thing as negative emotions. It's not the emotion that's bad. It's the fact that we contract against the emotion. It's the fact that we repress it. It's the fact that we try to hide it. It's the fact that we're afraid to show people our authentic selves in this moment, regardless of how we're feeling. So when we can become fully authentic with our current emotional state, with where we're at, completely authentic, regardless of the repercussions, you feel depressed, you say, people say, how are you? I'm feeling kind of depressed. You're mad? I'm feeling kind of mad. You just own up to everything you're feeling. You own up to everything that's going on within you. There's no more fear. There's, no, there's nothing to hide anymore. That's, that's what liberates you. When you no longer have anything to hide, you're just fully authentic. Fully yourself how you're feeling, where you're at in the moment. And the ego fears this because oftentimes, I notice it myself, like we can develop this, this fear that we are somehow intrinsically flawed or intrinsically unworthy of love. You know, this is like deeply rooted in, in the human psyche. Really just because of like childhood conditioning and, and things. Like when we express our authentic selves in childhood, on, uh, honestly, oftentimes we're punished for it. So we develop these conditioned patterns of repressing these emotions are these things that we were punished for in childhood. A lot of it can have to do with anger, sadness, rage, frustration, your sexuality. We get massively shamed for sexuality. All these different things, we build up shame patterns and that creates a, a contraction. So when you drop the shame and you're fully yourself, you can uh, free yourself from that. And you just drop into whatever you're feeling in your body. You bring love into that space, whatever it is, no matter like how fucked up you think you are or how, how flawed you think you are, your true self is perfect. And when you can find that, when you drop through all the bullshit, and you can find your true self beneath it all, then you're free from it.
so that's what the, this practice is. It's opening yourself to love, like how the sun, right? It, it's always shining. It's always giving love. It's always circulating energy. You become like that sun. You become like that beacon of light by continuously circulating the energy through you. So that's the key to everything. Releasing the holding patterns that block free circulation of life force energy. And you just open yourself up to it completely. What were you saying? I'm trying to read what he does. You saw them like thick spider webs you weaved around you, took a giant knife, tore through it. Nice, there you go. Look at that, that's a good vis visualization. Yeah, exactly, accepting the flawed self, no matter how fucked up you are, because think of all the atrocities that are done on planet Earth, all the horrible things. In truth, that's an aspect of yourself doing it, but you're doing it to yourself. Anything anyone does to anyone else, they're ultimately doing it to themselves. So, all of that is you all. Think of all the fucked up things, the war, the, the abuse, the torture, that was all aspects of you doing it. So, you can accept this by just bringing love to it and understanding. Understanding that it's all created through unconsciousness. It's created through a lack of awareness and a lack of love. Because love is awareness. It's presence. It's all the same thing. So, you just love all of it. No matter how fucked up you perceive it as. And that liberates you. So, that's really what I wanted to express in my message today. I appreciate everyone for tuning in, whether you are on the live or the replay. I love you all. The key message here, tuning in, is there a contraction happening within me? Am I blocking myself off to the flow of love? Because as empaths, when we pick things up from people in our environments, because there's a lot of density in the collective human field and society, and in other people, we pick it up, and then we close ourselves off to try and protect ourselves. So what I'm saying is do the opposite. Open yourself up more deeply. You feel a contraction? relax even more, open yourself up even more, and then you feel the light of consciousness within you transmutes that density into itself. And thereby you are healing the collective human consciousness and the collective human species at large. So that's my tab. That's my offering for you to practice is just remaining open in the midst of all adversity, like Jesus on the cross, all the, all the hate and all, all the hate that was projected towards him and the disapproval and the lack of love, and he even surrendered to that. He even loved that. And that was the moment that oh, he broke through. Liberation. He was free. So, that's what it is. That's my message for you guys today. I love you all. I could do this forever, but, uh, you know, time to journey onwards. So, as always, remember to stay in the flow. Keep that energy flowing, free from contraction. <sighs> and give love. Just choose to give love. Choose to give love to yourself, to all else, and open yourself into the field of unconditional love. Peace out, y'all.